let me just say this. You are now a member of the two-time, two. Two. Supporting <laughs> actress winning club. <laughs> it's like that Saturday Night Live five timers club. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> yeah, like if you hosted five times, there was a skit with Justin oh. Timberlake and all these people that had hosted five times came out. Okay. So you're like the two timer. <laughs> Not two timing. It's so soapy. I'm a two timer. Uh, but you won for a Ava- timer on a soap actually. <laughs> but you won for Ava Vitale on Days. I did. Yeah. I know you love that role. I love that role. And Kim, and so so different, so the different characters. Yeah, I'm like yeah. talk about an actress getting to play different. <laughs> Night and day. <laughs> Where will you put this one with that one, or what will you? What will you put? The- yeah, I, th- I think they should hang out and be. Buddies, I think they should hang right? out. Yeah, I think they they're gonna probably look a lot alike. Uh, <laughs> days, days, Emmy is a, is a little older, and um, she, her her ball's a little loose, <laughs> a little broken ball, actually, to be honest. A broken ball. <laughs> Got a broken ball. Uh-huh. Um, and she's a little spotted. Yeah. You know what? It's okay. We we all we all age. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll get some spots. <laughs> so I, I, I <laughs> has a good sense of humor and um, welcomes her new her new friend because there you go. That's what we should do. It was such a beautiful performance, and I it, do you remember shooting those scenes with Garen? Oscar's death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, what do you remember about? Did you have an inkling at the time that this is something that? was that kind of performance for you? I know you're critical of your work, so I know. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> um, like, I, like, when I did it, it's like, no, you know, you know, I know the whole storyline was so heartbreaking, you know, and I had been playing it for, for some time, you know, it started, you know, uh, at the end of the year before. And so his, his death was, it was just heartbreaking to me. I didn't, you know, the whole thing was just heartbreaking. And there, we did something like 14 scenes in one day. And I'm not sure if it was that day, but you know, that was on top of the whole lead up to his passing. And I knew they were heavy. I knew they were painful. I knew they were real. I knew they broke my heart doing them. So I, you know, I didn't, I don't think about, you know, like, oh, it could be, you know, I, I don't know. I guess a lot of people do think about that stuff. It's not really my thing. I'm like, okay, how many pages do I have? What do I have to do today? You know, what's the task today? You know, and that, you know, what's, how do I make, you know, do, do honor to, you know, what's been written here in the storyline. So, but I do remember that, that time period and it was, um, heavy and sad and and I thought the writers did such a beautiful job honoring the story of a mother who loses her child to a terrible disease you know I thought it was, and they really followed through with it I had spoke to Shelley Altman because I had done the writers package for the Emmy Awards I actually this year? yeah uh-huh. I did the writers and directors and interviewed all of the writers and directors but talking to Shelley you know she really said from the very beginning the intent was that he would not make it, that that yeah. Oscar would not survive this, and that that she wanted to tell the story, which we don't often see, of a young teenager losing their life, like getting their life cut short. And what a wonderful, uh, and commented about how wonderful you were, and Garen was in the story, and Billy, like everybody was really on their A game, I thought really made it uh, so heartbreaking, like you said. Thank you. I mean, it's just a heartbreaking story, losing a child, you know? A mother losing a son. And I mean, especially with everything going on right now, we have mothers losing sons, you know, fathers being taken away, everything, you know? And you know, my storyline was, you know, the disease of, of cancer. And, you know, I think right now we're dealing with the disease of racism. Racism, and- yes. And I think that, you know, I, I, there wasn't a whole lot of time, you know, for the pre-taped Emmy acceptance speeches, but that's, you know, what I had, was thinking about a lot, you know, the pain and the truth in the pain that Kim went through losing her son was resonating so honestly, you know, with millions of mothers losing their sons right now based on the amount of melanin they have in their skin, you know? So it's, it was, it's interesting. 2020 has been a very 
A very interesting year, right? You know, we have a pandemic, a quarantine, and you know, and then and then the the unrest with you know racial injustice and it just seems like everyone's like 2020 is a bust and i'm like no i think 2020 is is a real call to open your eyes and see things 2020 you know I, yeah i think it's a call to 2020 yeah and it's like a call to action for so yeah. for everybody you know there's so many things that aren't right so true so many and, things that aren't right and yep. now we have an opportunity to look at things, to see things clearly as they are, and to do something. And the fact that we, most of us still can't really go out and do things, we have an opportunity to learn. We have an opportunity to take action based on what we learn. You know, now is not the time to sit, sit back. You know, now is the time to do something. In the show, like, there was a lot, I think, in their speeches. Yeah, I and I think that was it. it. It's like, I th you know, some of my other co-stars that I had a conversation with, we were just like, this, it doesn't seem like, like we want to, you know, a first, oh, pretend, yay, we won, and and it that it's um that that what's going on in the world isn't going on in the world, you know, I mean, I know it, it's important to feel some joy and be entertained and to get out of the pain because I think we're all in a lot of pain right now, and um and we do need some moments, you know, where we can laugh and we can rejoice and and smile and feel good because so many of us are not one of the great things uh last night i spoke with uh, jason and heather and mm. um oh yes Bryson. congratulations <laughs> and and what i loved about it and then getting to talk to you is i realized oh my gosh do you know how long you and i have known each other how long i've known them that we are such a community of people that have watched each other and grown and and you know been a part of each other's lives whether it's peripherally or in this business but it's such a little special community i feel um and that's what was so great for me like seeing everybody like oh my god you won and there and, and it was it, it was so lovely to be able to do that uh, yeah well that's what's always so fun right about going to the shows is you get to see people that you have known for years and get excited and you know so that was you know like the sad part about not being able to see one another and and celebrate in you know everyone's accomplishments and give hugs i miss hugs honestly i i didn't end up watching the the you know it i mean because it wasn't we didn't we couldn't get it until the eight o'clock feed or get right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um and uh so my friends were like we're gonna watch it because she had somebody had sent uh, my friend marcia a little uh video i guess of it taped it off the tv and she's like wait so you guys didn't see it because she was a little late too and we didn't think it would be first and um we're like yeah yeah no we didn't see it so can we see she's like nope we have to wait until it's on at eight o'clock so we watched it at eight o'clock to see it and that was nice but after that you know it was now late and, and we were having you know we'd been we were just having a really good time so what did, um, what did mom say when she called she was so happy i was so happy i jumped up and down i was screaming you know mom and my my dad my stepdad he was it was just wonderful. She's so happy for me. I love her so much and him. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> did you did you hear from any of your former GH co-stars or any? Um, well, you know, it's funny cuz right after um right after my mom and Michael called me, um uh Lish called, Alicia Minshew. Alicia Minshew. Was on FaceTime with Willow and Richie and it was so great. And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm trying to like screen grab it, but I'm such a ding dong. I kept I kept turning it off cuz I was pressing the wrong buttons." <laughs> I'm like such a grandma, but um, technology is that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she called, I mean, I was getting so many, I mean, it was so nice. Everybody was reaching out and sending like texts and calling and blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't get back to everybody, you know, cause I had people in the backyard and, um, but it, I was trying to, but it was like, a, a, it was lovely. I, I heard from so many wonderful people. I'm, and Cindy Preston and Natalia and Rick, oh, they all reached oh. out. And Cindy sent me the most insane flower <laughs> arrangement. It was insane. <laughs> and she's Gosh. just, it's lovely. I mean, yeah. So yes, I did get to hear from some and yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I can't even think right now, honestly, yeah, yeah, but yeah. my former, yes, it was, 
wonderful. And hair and makeup, you know, Angela and Louisa and, sure. and, 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 you know, uh, some grips and stuff. So yes, a lot of people, I mean, incredible, but you know, you guys, you guys may not know them, but it means a ton to me. So. Of course. Of course. It's always a, a great when the crew and the behind the scenes people who do, that's really the people that, cause you're with them so much. Yes. You're I mean, with hair and makeup, so, right? Yes, and they become your family. I mean, like you spend more time with them than, you know, everyone thinks like, you know, you, you work with everybody, you know, all the whole cast knows each other and we all know each other, but we don't all get to know or spend a lot of close time because if our story, your stories don't intertwine, then you don't really necessarily get to know the people like you get to know your hair and makeup and you get to know the lighting and you get, you know, because you spend more time with them. So it's wonderful. And your peers respect your work. And, you know, that's what I think is so great that there is a respect level there because they obviously check that box or, you know what I'm saying? They obviously. Yeah. It means, it means so much to me. You know, I, I, I take every job, every role that I do very seriously and I put everything that I have into it because it's, I feel it's such a, an honor and a privilege to be able to do the work, you know, I mean. So many people don't have the opportunity, the percentages of people, of actors who actually can pay their bills doing it or actually get to do it on any kind of regular basis is so, so slim that I know how fortunate I am. And, um, and I don't take that lightly, you know? So I, I, I put everything I have into it because I love it. And, um, and it means a ton to me to be recognized so much. I remember when we talked during your general hospital run, I thought you got responses from people that were going through something similar about, did you hear from people, mothers that were going through something with their child or when this, you're, when you're on engaged? Yeah. This, this Kim. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was one of the things, you know, is when you hear from mothers who have lost a child to cancer and they come up to you and tell you how much your performance affected them and that it was so real and honest and that you know I mean that's that's everything right because I don't have that experience and I think it's probably the worst thing that any parent could have could happen to any parent is to lose a child so yeah you know to have have people who had experienced such a thing say thank you for bringing such honesty to it you know it's exactly how I felt I mean my call her my my you know my second mom you know across the street <laughs> she's my neighbor she and um her husband Ed are like my parents you know here and um she she lost she lost her they lost her their son to brain cancer she said to me all the time she's like wow Tam you know she's like you are going through and the feelings and all of that is exactly what I went through she's like I don't know how you do it you know I don't know you know it's just, I think it's it's all based on love based on love. Well, they really must have, I mean, when I looked at the submissions that General Hospital did for writing and one of the best show, it was your story, the yeah. Oscar story, and how that- It was written yeah, so well. So beautifully, those two, so, so those final two shows, those last, when he dies, mm -hmm. and then the aftermath when, when you and Billy put him on the gurney and everybody's what? I don't think there was a dry eye. I know there wasn't on the stage. Are you gonna do anything else to celebrate? Honestly, I had the best time last night with my girls. We had masks on and, you know, wait. And I, I mean, I was just like, put the mask on. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, um, and we just had such a beautiful time. I, I haven't, I mean, I really haven't been around hardly anybody since this whole thing happens. You know, I buy groceries for my, my neighbors I was talking about and, um, you know, I do that and, but it's, you know, I've, I haven't had been around that many people in, in a while and especially the people that I love. So I feel like last night was perfect. <laughs> it was great. I mean, congratulations again, Tamara. Oh, uh, so I mean, I'm so, so happy. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a beautiful performance and, uh, well-deserved recognition for it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, yeah. Michael.